welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and in this episode I'm going to talk about Selfish again and that is to say how to stream your screen to for instance another uh, computer or something else in your own network that's necessary to be said and um, yeah in the end for Selfish OS you have two options for that you can use screencast and camcast and screencast is something I'm using in general for all my videos I'm doing with you here um, both are using the more or less same technology of course something is different in the back end but uh, in the end the, the process is the same and the process is more or less that I'm going to use my laptop as you can see here my laptop is connected by an HDMI cable to my TV so you see the HDMI cable standing out there and um, in on the laptop I'm going to access uh, let's say a small web server that is running on my smartphone in this case of course the smartphone is the sony xperia 10 mark 3 you already know about that and this one is going to give me a small yeah web server whatever you want to call that and the apps are going to provide all the different informations to that app server, to that web server which can be only accessed in by wi-fi so i have to be in the same lan and um, in the end like this you can see everything that is going on on my smartphone on the big screen and those uh, apps are going to use more or less the same thing there and um, you don't have to do much about it you, you don't have to provide the web server or something everything is done by the, uh, the apps here and those are pretty nice in what you they do but they have a little bit of a different scenarios where you can use them and i think that some are a little bit faster than the other, but on the other hand, it has other disadvantages over the other. So let's have a look at that. Um, first off, I am going to change my view here. And I'm going to go to my normal screencast uh, part. So screencast, of course, one of the apps I wanted to show you. As you already can see, I can go down. You can see it's going to have a little bit of a delay, but in the end, it's pretty fast, close to to what we would expect here and you can easily see that by having a look at the, the, a little bit of stuttery animation that is going on here but still it's pretty fast if you ask me and um, so uh, in the end what we have to do of course is first off we have to get both of the apps on our smartphone to do that I'm going to turn around just to it and so you can see both yeah more or less speeds I'm going to have here so the the speed of the uh, monitor here, of the, uh, the TV in this case, is going to show you what the output would be. And this is of course the input by my smartphone. Okay, as always I'm trying to position myself somewhere so you can see everything on both screens. And now I'm just going to go to my store. And as you can see, Storeman should handle both of the apps for you. For the first one, go to the search up there. Now we are just going to type in first of screen cast for instance if it's not found uh, by itself or it's too hard to to get there are a couple of different other ones but I'm going to use it. Campcast is already there so we can start with Campcast here too. As you can see it can capture camera and screen. That's the difference be uh, between Campcast and the other one and Camcast can provide even audio feedback and stuff like that. But we will see later on. And in the end, just have a look at the description here, see that it's compatible with your smartphone. You should see something like this down below. As you can see, I already have it installed. It's the latest version I'm using here. And if you want to install it for yourself, you should go to the top menu here and then there should be add repository or install or something like that standing there. If not, um, you have to first add the repository and then install it and then you would have to go twice in this menu and after that if you did that you should see a little new icon here down below in the app a drawer there and this is camcast as you can use there screencast on the other hand is not represented in my uh, app library here because screencast is more closely integrated into the system you have to go to your settings to see screencasts later on because if you install it then you're going to have a new option here at systems it's integrating there and it's called screencast i don't think it's uh it's there uh, by net uh, by uh default so you will have to install it so for that go to storeman 
again and let's see if we can find it here. Cast. There we go. As you can see, screencast available there. You can go to uh, Sham 2. So in the end, this is an older version. So to get the newest one, go to store, go to your Sham GUI if you already have installed that or just get it. If you don't know where to get it, I'm going to post a link down below to Sham 2. And if you go in here, go to packages or categories, whatever, and um, type in screen cast again there we go screencast if you click on that then you can already see okay everything is here and you can do the same thing to get everything done here's even an issue tracker i didn't notice that till now but whatever um, click on that and you should be able to see everything going on here and there's of course all the information you need and installation is done by the upper uh, screen there too so whatever um, so first off um, if you install that then let's have a look at first off screencast we are already in screencast as you can see so i'm just going to click on that um, sometimes the device status is not the right one so in general there should be some information there but um, they are really not there as you can see we are screencasting everything here and um, very important you can set up some kind of information here so um, again, it's going to take screenshots of your screen here and going to provide them to the web server. And like that, of course, you can, for instance, have a look at the different quality settings and stuff like that. It's a JPEG that is going to be provided there, so a JPEG screen uh, in general. And um, yeah, like this, you can just have a look at the different options here. Um, one, of course, is how many uh, frames should be buffered. Um, if you are going too large with that, you will have um, yeah, sometimes refresh problems and stuff like that can occur if that's just too much for your buffer cache you have. And uh, if you are going too low, then it might stutter because the transfer rate is not large enough and you are not going to uh, be able to uh, yeah, compensate for skipped frames and stuff like that. So something in the middle is probably a good, a good choice as I'm using here. Um, of course, it highly depends on the network uh, connection. Sorry that I didn't notice that. Um, it highly doesn't uh, does uh, depend on the network connection. It highly depends on the quality you're going to save here. JPEG quality is of course something that you shouldn't go up too high. Um, it doesn't really make sense anyway for uh, these kinds of scenarios because 75 is already a pretty good one. Um, most images and pictures you're going to see on the web or something are going to be in it. Yeah, equal ratio, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower, but in the end, it's a fine one. 75 should be okay, 80 is okay too. If you're going too high, then just the, the, um, the size of the files are, is going to be higher than necessary because you couldn't see it anyway, especially in a, in a video I'm doing here like this one, it wouldn't really make sense. Um, and of course frame scaling, that's a different story because this is more or less the size I'm going to show you here. And I use a 60 in this case because it just gives me a good quality and still a good enough, um, a good enough uh, transfer rate. Um, because of course the frame scaling is highly impacting the, the file size of the JPEGs. And you have Aply Smooth Transformation for instance and Flash Packages. Um, you can have an aut uh, authorization code here, so you can, for instance, uh, require the person to, uh, which will, or should watch it on your own network, of course, to uh, put in this username and password. A good thing if you want to have it running all the time or something. And below that, you can see the different uh, options to yeah, get to the smartphone. As you can see, it's a local uh, IP address I'm using here. And um, you just have to put in this in your browser with the port, of course. So the port is very important because, for instance, um, Comcast is using the same IP address but with a different port. And yeah, we have one connection, one connected client here. So that is more or less what is happening here. Okay, so the second one, um, which is of course an own app now, Camcast, can be accessed here if you click on that. 
you can already see we, ha we have a nicer interface maybe or at least an, an interface that is helping you with a couple of different things down below you have a stream url so if you want to open that in your your web browser the, the lower one at least um, you can do that and you are going to go to one of the um, one of the, the interfaces here which is provided by the, uh, the part and it's a very simple one, as you can see, it's this one, but it really does what it should. So in the end, pretty okay to do it like this. And as you can see, it's more or less the same you can set up on your, your app here too. So if you have a look at that, um, we have the format you can, uh, can choose from. This is a real stream which is going on. So as you can see, we have a video stream, not only JPEGs or something provided with it. Uh, we have an MP3, MP4 or the um, MPEG TS part, um, which can be shown here. Since I switched over, you can't see it uh, on my smartphone very well. I hope you can. But if not, it's not very important. We are going to have a look at the screen there too. But in the end, it's everything you see here, shown there again, with one exception, the, the web URL you are at the moment at doesn't need to be shown here because you're already on that. But if you subtract that, then it's exactly the same. Okay, um, if you go up here, you can see you have an another option. Um, I'm probably, give me one sec to do that. Oh, sorry, this is nothing I wanted. No, thank you. I wanted to click this, yeah. Okay, so we can see it again. I'm screencasting at the moment, so we are not going to, uh, to um, see the performance of something because of course we would have to get rid of one of the, the apps to, or better to say, uh, shut it down to really measure the performance. But just to, uh, so you can see everything, I can go up here to about Camcast, so you can read about the author, and of course settings. If you go into the settings, you can set up your own inf information about your network, more or less. So if you want another port number and you want another URL pass, because this is, for instance, too short for you, so that nobody is going to spy on you or something, you can set it up. But as you already can see, here is not the option to include some kind of an, of an password protection or something, which is, of course, available at Screencast. Um, in the end, if you choose the, the yeah, the pads there longer, it's going to be pretty much the same. Um, at least it's a password, more or less, or password, kind of password. Um, but in the end, you could really get this, yeah, pretty okay. It's on your local network, so what should happen there? If, if you're really sharing it with many, many people, just put in a larger parts there, so really go up here and, and put in whatever you want, a longer pass. I will have to be very, uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, I hope it was this, I'm not sure at the moment, probably. Um, in the end, I would have to put it in again otherwise, but uh, as you can see, we can already see that this is a little bit streamlined and looks nice if you ask me and you have a couple of different things. One of the most important aspects is what you want to use. So you can really decide if you, for instance, just want to use audio streaming or video streaming or both. And you can click on this and as you can see, we have the option to go to the back camera. So the one at the back, the one at the front. Um, I'm not even sure what is meant by this. This is a front camera, I think. This is a rear camera, yeah, probably. Um, or the back camera. Um, so, screen capture is one of the options and a couple of other ones. And of course, if you want to auto-rotate or not, which is sometimes a little bit of a problem with screencast, for instance, as you already know from my videos, sometimes it's just going to switch over, um, even so I didn't want that to happen, but yeah, it's not a big deal, but in the end you can really select it if you want it to happen or not, like this. And the great thing about this is, of course, that you can use different video sources. So in the end, if you don't want to use the screen capture one, you can, for instance, um, try the front camera or something. So let's see what we are going to get here if, for instance, we go 
to first off screen capture. We, we want to start with this. After that, we will see what's happening. And of course, you can set up the, the orientation if you want to. In the end, it's portrait in, in general for these kind of scenarios with smartphones, for screen captures at least. And um, yeah, it highly depends on what you want to do here. It's going to auto rotate still, but uh, the default one is then in this um, ratio or whatever. So, second one is audio, of course, so you can, for instance, use microphone or use what is going to be given out from your smartphone. Do whatever you want there, put it in, and then you can start screen, uh, streaming. Okay, um, what to do here? We would have to go to one of the, the options here and, and get it then, then done. But first off, I'm going to deactivate um, one of the apps here. So in this case, you already know about screencast, so I'm not going to uh, talk about that too much. For that, I'm going to go in here. For some situations, I just have to, let's see if it's already deactivated, no. As you can see, this is a little bit of a troublesome thing because screencast really doesn't let you deactivate it fully or something. I'm not sure if it's just this version or, or whatever, but what you can do is I'm just going to type in Something like this. Hopefully it's off now. No, it's not off. <laughs> Give me one sec. Um, easiest way to, to get it shut off, of course, is to, to um, once deactivate your connection here. If you now go up again, you can see it's no longer going to be updated. If I'm going to go back in here, we should be fine because now Yeah, not really. Give me one second. I'm not really sure how to deactivate it at the moment. Probably the app has a problem then. So if I once I started it, I would have to shut down the uh, process, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, or maybe because I already accessed it, I can't really get rid of it here. So let me go to this part and I'm just going to shut down that one and go to Comcast. Let's see if that changes something. Yeah, so what I did, I really got rid of everything here and um, just hopefully have everything uh, uh, opt out now. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit of a trouble to, to get everything out if you are uh, off in the end, if you already have installed screencast so this is something you would and should have in in mind if you're using something like this it's harder to get rid of the service again so in the end you would have to to really shut down the service if you want to be really sure about it and yeah it's a little bit of a trouble something i would have to have a look if there's an update available for instance on chum already that will help me with that but still i want to show you everything here so the casting should now be only here which is fine and as you can see, we have all the different options now in this version here. So you can have a look at this, for instance. You can set up everything you want to use here. And you can, of course, just say don't use, for instance. And if we didn't select anything, nothing is going to happen. Okay, other than that, I'm going to just go with my screen capture for now. And now you can click on preview screen in browser. If you do that, you get a little video information down below here. At least if I captured something in, give me one sec that I didn't change anything. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it's not the original one because I will have to add um, F to that. I just got one width of one of them too much. As you can see now, we are connected again and now we can have a look at this. So click on this button and as you can see, we have our preview running, which is more or less what we already can see here. So if I'm going to scroll something in, you can see it's going to go there. But you already saw it's a little bit less performant, if you ask me. So a little bit more uh, of a delay there. Um, but this is of course not fair at the moment, because we already have a real streaming part. So we should have a look at that too. And in this case, we are just going to go to 
um, have a look at the streaming part itself. That is done by just clicking on this. I'm going to, yeah, better for, for the part here, I'm going to do it like this. And as you can see, now we have a real streaming link. We can stream that to the browser with one of the, of the options we have here. And as you can see, we have something to stream around, but it's really very, very stuttery. So there's a big difference in performance there between screencast and this one. If you want, and, uh, you really want to go with the fastest one, screencast is probably better for that. But there's of course one drawback of screencast. You can only use your screen captures from your device. So in this case, we are not limited to that. We can go to the uh, part here, as you can see here, and we can, for instance, use the front camera. If I do that, I'm not even sure if I'm able to do it in this. Maybe I have to cancel first, probably. Go to front camera, and yeah, as you can see, we will have to go back to our, sorry for that. To our part here. And now we should be able, as you can see, we have front camera activated. If I go to the stream in your browser part again, then you can see I have my setup showing up here with my front camera so at the moment you can see me and um, of course i can change that for instance if i'm going to put in um, the back camera so we have it at the moment very very nothing to see because i have of course this cover up there but if i get rid of that i can show you for instance my laptop here which is showing up in the preview down below there and um, yeah in the end now i can really use my smartphone camera to show you everything around here and that is of course something i can't do with the other one um, it's very important that if you uh, send this link out for instance or you want to uh, activate it in this link there are all the different informations that are in there so camera row back rotate for instance means that we really have only this option. So all of the, uh, what this does is giving all the different options to that setting there. And if you now want to have a look at it in full screen, you really have to activate it first. And now as you can see, well, really use that um, part there, so the, the real URL you're seeing there, to see everything. And there we have the infinity loop back of our camera more or less. I think the, the um, camera feeds are much faster to be transferred than the screen capture part. So, as mentioned before, if you really want to go with, um, with your screen capture, then maybe screencast is a better option. If you really want to go with camera feeds and stuff like that, provide that to somewhere else, then maybe you should have a look at Camcast. And yeah, this is more or less all I wanted to show you in this episode. So you can see there are two different options. Um, both have their yeah, opportunities and, and drawbacks. So just have a look at what you need for your needs in this case, but you can use both of them. They are going to be working for you and like this. For instance, you can do videos like I am doing or whatever you want to do there. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a great time. Have a great day. and. Bye. Bye.